Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. The new Marvel movie Eternals hit the box office this weekend easily winning the weekend, opening with $71 million, the fourth best debut of the year. The movie features a group of superheroes who started long before Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Panther. The diverse cast includes Kumail Nanjiani as Kingo Sunan, Marvel's first South Asian superhero, and Lauren Ridloff as Makari, Marvel's first deaf superhero. My deafness is not seen as, you know, a driving point to a story. It's just, you know, it's just an asset. The two-day music festival in Houston, organized by and starring rapper Travis Scott is now a criminal investigation. After tens of thousands of people in the crowd surged toward the stage, crushing and killing eight people up front, hundreds more were injured. Investigators are urging concert goers to contact them if they have information to share to help them identify some of the deceased victims and police also say that a security guard was pricked in the neck with a needle, prompting more questions about what was happening in the crowd. One concert goer who says he was knocked down and trampled has filed a lawsuit. A California woman named Mary McCarthy is accusing Southwest Airlines of racial profiling her after being accused of human trafficking. McCarthy says Denver police met her and her 10-year-old daughter, Mora, when they got off a flight because a flight attendant saw the girl crying on the plane, thinking she was a victim of human trafficking. McCarthy assumed the mix-up was because her daughter is biracial and she was crying because she was attending the funeral of her uncle who died suddenly. But even though Denver police cleared both mother and daughter of any wrongdoing, McCarthy says she is yet to receive an apology from Southwest and has hired an attorney. A cybersecurity research firm says foreign hackers have breached nine organizations in the defense, energy, healthcare, technology, and education sectors, and at least one of those organizations is in the U.S. Authorities say it's unclear who is responsible for the breach, but the hackers stole passwords to gain long-term access to these organizations' networks. And now officials from the National Security Agency and the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency are tracking the threat. After nearly two years, the United States is now back open to vaccinated international travelers from more than 30 countries as of today, Monday. International visitors will need to show proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID test, with some exceptions.
It's a welcome relief for families separated by the pandemic. And for the global economy, it's a sign that things may just be getting closer to normal. A federal appeals court has temporarily blocked the Biden administration's vaccine rules for employers with 100 or more employees, ruling there are constitutional issues with the vaccine mandate. 27 states have sued the Biden administration over its vaccine mandate, which requires those employers to have employees vaccinated by January 4th, 2022. New Zealand couple Colin and Donna Craig Brown may have grown the world's largest potato without even trying. They found the gigantic 17-pound potato, which they named Doug, growing in their garden when they were getting ready for the spring planting season. The couple is still waiting for an official update from the Guinness Book of World Records. But Colin says when the world record stuff is over, he plans to turn it into vodka and then use the vodka to toast Doug at his potato funeral. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows. We might even share your comment. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku.